The report of the Task Force on Sudden Cardiac Death defines sudden cardiac death as death due to natural causes within an hour of the onset of symptoms in the absence of any other cause and assumed to have a cardiac source. Ireland has a high rate of death from coronary heart disease, with one in five of all deaths being attributed to this cause. It is estimated that approximately 5,000 people die in Ireland each year from sudden cardiac death. This equates to 14 deaths per day. There are four causes of sudden death. Cardiac arrest, shock, severe bleeding, and respiratory arrest. The Cardiac First Response Programme will focus on respiratory arrest and cardiac arrest. The human body is very complex. Oxygen is taken into the body via the lungs, breathing at about 15 times per minute. The oxygen is transferred into the blood, which in turn is pumped by the heart. The heart pumps the blood by squeezing it out into the arteries. It pumps about 80 times per minute. The blood is pumped all around the body and especially to the brain, the nerve center of the body. The heart sends out an electrical signal from its pacemaker, which follows a predetermined pathway through the heart. This electrical impulse causes the heart to contract or squeeze. This electrical pathway can be seen on an ECG monitor as a normal ECG waveform. Cardiac arrest means the heart has stopped pumping blood. Ventricular fibrillation, or V-fib, is the most common reason for the heart to stop pumping effectively. This is an uncoordinated electrical impulse throughout the heart. If the heart stops and no oxygen is pumped to the brain, the patient goes unconscious. After about four minutes, the brain cells begin to die. After about 10 minutes without oxygen, the brain will no longer function and death is inevitable. This means that there is a 10 minute window of opportunity to react to sudden cardiac death. During emergencies involving a cardiac arrest, responders and practitioners are vital links in events known as the chain of survival. The links in the chain of survival are early access, early CPR, early defibrillation, early advanced life support. Early access involves phoning the emergency number 999 or 112. Call as soon as you establish that the patient is unresponsive. Also check if there is an automated external defibrillator, or AED, available on site. Early CPR is essential to pump blood, especially to the brain, or permanent brain damage can occur within four to six minutes. Start CPR as soon as you call for help and keep pressing on the chest until help arrives. If you stop pressing on the chest, oxygen stops going to the brain. 
Early defibrillation applies an electrical shock to the heart which removes the uncoordinated electrical activity within the heart muscle. Doing this gives the heart a chance of restoring normal electrical activity and therefore resume the role of pumping blood. Early advanced life support. The heart sometimes requires additional support to restart or maintain normal function. This is provided with emergency medications and advanced airway management.